So I got my insurance premium renewal notice and I opened it up and I could have sworn it was a bill for my son's college year a tuition, his whole freshman year. <laughs> Rates are getting crazy, guys. Let's talk about what's going on behind that. I'm Amber Moore and I'm Brett Wallace and we're your, your Houston, Houston local, local guide. guide I know so it's a really exciting topic today it's one that's very relevant because I also just got my home insurance premium notice scary you own a home <laughs> I think we might be sitting in it but in any case before we get into it go ahead subscribe to our channel hit that notification bell we do release a new video every single week you're not going to want to miss this are you I um, mean while you're down below don't forget to get our email address and our phone number call text us anytime we'd love to hear from you and you're probably gonna have some questions after this video, right? Yeah, so I know. I, I know I will. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes we're like, well, thank God we made this video so we can go back and watch our own. Yeah. So basically, what we're hearing a lot from not only our, you know, our neighbors, clients, friends, family, whatever, every it's 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 across the board. Um, I'm not sure in all of Texas, but at least in the Houston area, homeowners insurance is going through the roof. Yeah. And no pun intended there. The <laughs> The reasons behind it, we've spoken with our insurance broker and kind of there's a few factors yeah. in it. Um, one of which was the Texas freeze in 2021. Not only, in my opinion, are they trying to recoup a lot of the payouts that were made, mm -hmm. uh, premiums had to go up to cover a lot of those payouts and it was it was significant. But on, an, uh, on another note with the Texas freeze, that was something that the actuators that factor in risk and all these things with insurance companies and premiums and how they're derived never ever factored in something along the lines of things that are associated with a freeze now they are so that's one more risk and one more thing into the rates that are being so they're trying to recoup their loss yeah and also factor in more potential loss in the future should something like that happen again so that's one reason um the dual you know the texas freeze the two reasons behind that what we just said um, another reason also is what's happened the last couple years right inflation materials, labor, everything is going through the roof. Mm -hmm. So when you get an insurance premium, they have something called what's the replacement cost. So you might be buying a $400,000 home or your, your home might be worth $400,000, but God forbid, knock on wood, the house burned to the ground and uh, the exact to build you a home back to the exact specification mm -hmm. of what that $400,000 home right was it could be five hundred thousand five fifty i mean right. it could be 20 25 percent more just the cost of construction especially if you've lived in a home for a long time hey, can i talk i'm just kidding, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I, feel like I, I was like what are you gonna save me um yeah so just the cost of materials anyway yeah. but yeah we're sitting in my home built in 1994 so i got a great deal on this when i bought it almost 10 years ago and it would be double now to build the same yeah, home you bought it from a great agent i did yeah. Anyway, he, he didn't even come to the house. I didn't in think case. I saw. I didn't walk in here until after closing. Um, but that's not the kind of service we would give you guys. That is correct. But in any case, so I'm not insuring my home based on the purchase price back in 2014. I'm having to insure it based on replacement costs in the year 2023. And it's significantly more. Not to mention it is resale, which is we're going we're gonna to get into that. Good segue. Thank okay. You. I set you up. That's yes. So right now, um, separate, separate video, interest rates, right? So... New construction is the forefront. For the next couple of years, they're offering great rates, they're offering incentives, discount points, but also something else that new construction is in the plus column on the on definitely the pro side of things when we're looking at pros and cons is the insurance amount. The premiums are so much lower on new home construction. Yes, yeah, so we were just resale. at a closing with someone we actually relocated here off of our YouTube channel. So thank you very much. And I said, okay, on this like half million dollar plus home. What are you paying for your home insurance? And he said, what, $1,600? Yeah, so it, it was a, um, it was a, it's a Coventry home in Cane Island. So I mean, it's a $550,000, $575,000 okay. home. And the builder got a quote from her for $1,900. And our preferred broker came in like at $1,600 and change. Mm -hmm. Just for reference, I mean, just to kind of compare, I believe my home is somewhere in that vicinity um, price point as far, but the replacement cost is probably a little more. But my premium is closer to $4,000. Like it's like thirty six, thirty seven hundred. Well, that's what I was gonna say. And my so home was built in nineteen ninety four as well. Ours is yeah, the same year built. So I replaced my roof last year, got new windows. We have a relatively new AC. So I thought I was gonna that be just turned off. Free. I, I thought I was gonna be like 
oh my gosh, making some extra money. Um, I have four kids. And I got my home insurance premium renewal and it was $4,100 this year. And of course I called our insurance broker and I went, hey, I did all this stuff to the house. Obviously we wanted to make it more comfortable, more energy efficient. He goes, yeah, you better be glad you did all that. It would have been $4,700 for the year. Like, what is going on here? And so then that's where we started learning more about this topic because it's affecting so many people. Yeah, so definitely not only uh, the zip code or the location, uh, right. the likelihood of things uh, happening to the home, but definitely I always like to say the older the home, typically the premium is gonna be higher with the older the home, especially if you're dealing, sometimes they do, a lot of brokers do um, intake and they do ask like what kind of pipe, uh, what, what is the water, is it PEX, is it copper, sure. is it galvanized? Like, or if you know if you have aluminum wiring, electrical instead of Romex or copper wiring, uh, the breaker box, like what age of the roof? That's a, a yes. We're gonna also, a, another good segue. Well, we both have pools too. We're like the worst people to insure. We live in an older home with a pool. Yeah, don't so take we're... don't take home advice from either one of us. <laughs> so we're high liability here. Is my point. Yeah. So um, a couple points we want to make with with when it comes to roofs. I've had I don't know a string of listings where they're mm -hmm. all. 14, 15, and 16 year old roofs. And buyers don't like that, do they? Well, it's not the buyers don't like it, it's the insurance premiums that they get quoted. It's like, uh, they, they it's right. double, because the insurance company knows what's coming down the pike. They're gonna mm -hmm. be asked next time the wind blows four miles an hour and and <laughs> blows my toupee off, um, the, they're gonna be asked to That'll replace- That'll be another the video. Yeah, 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 <laughs> I have to grow it out a little. <laughs> Um, the, that they'll be asked to replace the roof and you know, it's a 2% deductible, 3% deductible, whatever, but insurance companies know that. And if they're going to give you a policy, they might not include the roof and it'll just be a cash out and you're still going to get stung with a really high premium. So my suggestion, and I have a great roofer, I'm sure Amber does as well on the North mm -hmm. side, um, get someone out there that would meet with an adjuster, ask for an adjuster to be sent out from your insurance company. That's what you pay the premiums for. Mm -hmm. And you never know. You might get a new roof put on if they can claim it to hail damage or high winds in the last six months. That is a huge value add if we can go on the market with a one month old roof mm -hmm. or a, a roof that's only a few months old or a year or two. And anything's better than 14, 15 or 16 years. Absolutely. That will be the first and biggest thing brought up during inspections and it's just problematic. So if you can get a roof put on for 2% or your deductible or whatever your deductible is, it, it's worth talking with the roofer, sure. calling us, talking with us about it and uh, just going on the market with a brand new roof. It's gonna be way more appealing to buyers. They always ask about roofs and ACs, yep. just the top two. Yep, and also, you now we're talking about homeowner's insurance and thinking about selling your home. Don't ever cancel your insurance until after the closing. Correct. So, so if you're scheduled to close on a Friday, just go ahead and plan on canceling it the week after in case the closing gets pushed or whatever. You mm -hmm. never, ever, ever, ever want a chance of your home yeah. being uncovered for five minutes. Um, one of the downsides, well, two downsides, something happens to the home while it's uncovered, you're, you, you know, that's not good. Secondly, if your lien holder, if you have a mortgage and your lien holder finds out that there's no insurance, if there's any gap, they could do something what's called forced placed insurance. Doesn't and they're, sound good. They're not going to be shopping for a good deal for you. They're actually going to try to stick it to you as kind of almost as a punitive measure because you let their asset go uncovered. So forced place insurance, not it's not fun. And it's not super easy to get out of from what I hear. Mm. Never been a part of it, thank thank heavens, or any of my clients. Um, but just always make sure that you have existing coverage on your properties. As painful as it is, and expensive as it is, unfortunately, right now. It's a necessary evil. And even for cash buyers, right? I had a cash buyer thinking, well, I own it outright. You know, I don't have a lien. I said, right, but what happens? God forbid, he said, it burns to the ground right? Your asset is gone and you have land at that point. So home insurance is the necessary evil. You and, need it. And with premiums going up so much, when you do qualify for a home loan and you, you close and fund the deal, they if you're putting less than 20% down, they mandate escrows uh, accounts to be set up. So mm -hmm. they'll take six months, nine months, 12 months advance on those insurance premiums to pad the account. What also does that do? Obviously more cash out of your pocket closing because the rates are so much higher, but it also gives me more money per month, which does what? It affects your DTI, which is debt to income ratio. So yeah. sometimes if you're with a good broker and we're gonna leave it in the comment section or down below the video, a couple of our referrals, or you can call us and we'll give them to you. Um, the that you can get kind of a policy that might not have all the bells and whistles that you want, but gets you over the closing table. And then 
you know, after closing and all the dust settled, if you want to beef up your policy, you're not under the the magnifying glass of the underwriters and yeah. the debt to income ratio and all happen. these things. Yeah, where it's like, hey, I need kind of the, the bare bones policy to get me over the finish line, and then we'll we'll we'll, we'll beef up the policy mm-hmm. afterwards. Um, so anyway, that's that's kind of home insurance, not one hundred and one, but you know, that's a little bit of that's a mainly a, talking about the rates update. being increased yeah. in twenty twenty three. Um, but it's always a good idea. You don't have to wait for your pre- your new premium notice to come in. You can always shop your rates. It's never a bad idea to look. Some carriers are coming into the, into markets and leaving markets. It's a very fluid situation, but we always encourage you to get with an insurance broker who can shop multiple carriers. Don't just call That's Allstate or don't just call State Farm. Not they that have you your... can't get a good policy with them. It's just you want someone to shop around to multiple. We want I people love State to... Farm. Right. I'm not trying to, you know, I have for all my vehicles that you can't beat their car in my, in my opinion, but for homeowners insurance, it's just, it's, it's, it's kind of costly. Um, and they don't always approve, they don't approve the roof claims as much as a lot of the other carriers approve. Right. That's just in my experience down here. I could be wrong. Please let me know if I am. Amber always does. I'm good at that. But yeah, even when I got my $4,100 quote for this year, I had my agent shop around again. He goes, Amber, that is absolutely almost the cheapest I can find on your house. He goes, I'm seeing stuff going five, six, seven thousand dollars. I'm like, who is paying? Who Again, can it's pay a, this? It's a tuition bill. I got. Yeah. I really couldn't believe it. This is crazy, and so it's affecting us. So we know it's affecting you. You might have questions about it, which is why we like to release, you know, relevant topic videos uh, like this. We're not out in the hundred degree weather in communities. With these lights and the AC off, it feels like it. I'm sweating. <laughs> In any case, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. You can leave comments below. Um, We'd love to hear from you, and we can't wait to see you again here next week.